Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. Today we continue our topic exposing the lies of the Mohammedans defending their false prophet. You know when we say Islam without lies dies, we prove it every time, every single time. And today from the thump as you see, uh, the topic is about the round earth and the flat earth. Uh, Mimi Hijab, he made a video a while ago actually, but uh, you know, lately I got my like attention to it. So I said, you know what? Let us show everybody who is this guy, how much he lie. And I want the Muslims before the Christians to join us in this conversation and prove me wrong. You know, uh, uh, always uh, you need to ask yourself a very simple question. Why Muslims cannot be honest when they speak about their belief? What is the problem? What's exactly the problem? When uh, in the last century, when the Mohammedan they start noticing that science is very important for many, the Muslims suddenly they try to make their book fit with science. Suddenly, the Quran speak about the Big Bang, but it, if you take two seconds, you will see this is absolutely false. And by the way, the Big Bang proving to be even false too, especially with the last discovery from the new uh, telescope they send in the space. So now what they will do, now they will start saying, oh, you know what, we don't care for the Big Bang. Oh, no, it's not in the Quran. So they fabricate lies in order to make Islam promoted. And today is no exception. If you are a Muslim, you'd like to join us, please feel free, you can text me in Skype. Uh, and I will uh, I will text you uh, as soon as we start. We, we need to play some video, the video of uh, Mimi Hijab, and then we start uh, showing reference and show you in the front of your own eyes that every single word this man he say is absolutely a lie. So let us start it, and don't forget please to invite. Otherwise, I'm going to. Uh, maybe change the date or the time, maybe for tomorrow. I see only few people here. You know, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what is the reason. Am I coming in the wrong time? Shall I make it uh, like next Saturday? I don't see people. There is this is even an unusual. Anyway, let us uh, let us give this guy what he deserves, and we will see what we will do later. So this is the video of Mimi Hijab, peace be upon him, trying to find a way to solve the problem of the Quran. And what the problem today? It's about the earth is flat or it is around. Listen carefully. Now, the, uh, the claim that is usually made when trying to prove Islam is scientific, uh, is a claim uh, in chapter number 79 verse number 30 where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says well arda ba'da dhalika dahaha and they said or oh, they they translate this to mean and the earth we have made it into an ostrich egg egg now this is a false translation with all be my witness this is a false translation but did you say did you notice why they are saying now it's a false translation this is because of me for the last 20 years, I'm spanking every single one of them, including this guy. He was, you know, I mean, I, I don't count him for 20 years ago. This guy, he just became famous after David Wood. You know, he had a funny debate with him. If we go right now in the internet, we will see how much the Muslims they promoted that the Quran speak about the earth in the shape of the egg. Let us do it. The Hadith.
I will go right now in front of you and search earth shape of egg the corona yuca hmm. previously the human beings we thought that the earth on which we live it is flat it was in 1577, Sir Francis Drake, when he sailed around the earth, he proved that the earth was spherical. Quran mentions in Surah Luqman, chapter number 31, verse number 29, it is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who merges the night into day and merges the day into night. Alam tara anna laha <laughs> it is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who merges the night into the day and merges the day into the night. Merging is a gradual and slow process. The night slowly and gradually merges into the day and the day slowly and gradually merges into the night. If the earth was flat, there would have been a sudden change. It would have been a gradual process of night merging into the day and day merging. And here you see the, the fallacy of his interpretation of the Quran. You see that the Quran saying actually in fact this is this is proving the Quran to be false. Why? Because when you just said Allah he merged the night into the day, that means the whole earth have the same merging process in the same time. But we know that this is not true. It can be noon somewhere, it can be middle of the night somewhere, it can be morning. In somewhere there's no merging there's only merging in certain area where it's going to be the dawn so now he's trying to find a way you know okay you know the Quran says and if we go to Ibn Kathir actually the Quran says that the day and the night and the, uh, 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 and the earth and the moon all they are swimming in an orbit each of them Actually, Mimi Hijab, he made a good job saying, what kul mean? Kullun fi fulukin yasbahoon. All of them, they are swimming in like a, a ship. So the Quran confirmed that the earth, the day and the night and, uh, 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 and the moon, each one of them is an object. Let us hear more what if we say so we can love more. Merging to the night. Allah gives a similar message in Surah Az Zumur, chapter number 39, verse number 5. It is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who overlaps the night unto the day and overlaps the day unto the night. The Arabic word used here is kawara, which means to overlap a coil. So the Quran says it is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who overlaps a coils. The night unto the day <laughs> and overlaps our coils the day unto the night mm. coiling the word kawara is used how you coil a turban unto your head mm. so this overlapping and coiling of the night unto the day and the day unto the night is only possible if the shape of the earth was spherical if remember that he said that not me it's only possible if the shape of the earth is not a flat if it was flat it was not possible Okay. And Allah further says in Surah Naziyat, chapter number 79, verse number 30, we have made the earth as an expanse, and we have made the earth egg-shaped. Did you hear it? egg shape. We made the earth what? egg shape. What we made the earth? egg shape. What Mimi Hijab, he just said, this is a false translation. One hour, 18 minutes, 51 second. This is fast translation. Uh, in the video about Big Bang, and there will be a discussion. And Let us see, hold on, I, mean, I don't want to replay it again from the beginning.
But in terms of this now, the, uh, the claim that is usually made when trying to prove Islam is scientific uh, is a claim uh, in chapter number 79, verse number 30, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Well, Arda ba'da dhalika dahaha. And they said, or oh, they, they translate this to mean, and the earth, we have made it into an ostrich egg. egg. Now, this is a false translation. With all you need to ask yourself a very simple question. Why the Muslims around the world, they are using false translation? Very simple. First of all, there is no such a translation. There is no such a translation. If you go right now and open the Quran, this is their website, and we choose every single translation, you will not see one of them saying egg. Nowhere. So where this translation came from? A Muslim kid many years ago, he responded to my videos exposing the flat earth in the Quran because he's a, Muslim, he's a kid, he's stupid, he's like, he was 19 years old, I think. He, he said, oh, the word Dahya uh, mean uh, egg, you know? And then everybody copied from the kid, including Zechariah. He was responding to me. This is the verse. And you can open every single interpretation or translation you want. Even they sing it for you. They sing it for you. You know? Uh, if we go now here, this is Hilali and Khan. You can choose any translation you want. You will not find any one of them saying that this is a shape of an egg. So why is the Quran and Yuka saying egg? Because without Islam, without lies, sorry, Islam dies. Without lies, Islam dies. That's that's the whole, you know, the, what the verse is saying actually, well, ardu ba'da dalika dahaha, he made it flat. Which means, the, the, actually the word saying, the, totally the opposite of what they're trying to say. I mean, I cannot believe it, how much they lie. It is the opposite. Allah, he made the earth flat. But I'm going to listen more to Mimi Hijab. Mimi Hijab, he said that the Christians, they have in the Bible an old verse in the book of Job. It says that the earth like, you know, like a globe, like a bowl. But the Christian, they never used that for not a single Christian for the first 300 years used that. And here, I, you know, I find it very funny. That this guy is very sure and then he is quoting somebody uh, saying that the Greek and the Christian they agree if they agree with us why wouldn't they debate about it if they agree with the Bible why, why there's no point of debating about it nobody debate us about it. you know and the Christian they will not go into teach science they will read the verse for you they will teach you this is what he said but we are not going to teach science we did not open university in Europe to chase science. The verse is so clear. That's fair at the earth. Even this one we need to, to, to make a story about it. While everybody in the world believe that the earth is a flat, the Bible is saying clearly, not only the earth is not a flat, even the Bible mentioned that the earth is hanged on nothing. God, he expand the sky, the universe, the heaven. The same way he expand, expand the curtain. And this is what Muhammad is trying to copy even from the Bible. And God, <coughs> he hanged the earth on nothing. Now, <coughs> if I say this to somebody... Uh, you know, 3,000 years ago, they will laugh at you. That's stupid. What are you talking about? What hang on nothing? The Quran teach that the earth have pillars and the sky standing over a column. In fact, there's a mountain around the sky, around the earth, which is the sky taking its color from. So when those people, they claim and they speak, uh, 
always you have to be suspicious about what they say and 90% of what they say is a lie. As you see, Zakir Naik and many others, they say it's a shape of an egg. Mimi Hijab, he just gave them a finger, all of them, saying they are a bunch of liars. But why Mimi Hijab is saying that? Very simple. The lie is so big. Anyone can go and check and he will find that there is nowhere the egg appear. Not even close. When somebody make up a lie, you know, he assume that, okay, who is going to check after me? Those, the word, don't speak Arabic. There's a few Arabic Christians, but well, nobody listen to them anyway. When we go to Job, chapter 26, if, if somebody can pause the verse for us, instead of me open it, verse number 7, you will see how the earth is hanged on nothing, and he stretch the space, the empty space, the word empty, it's empty. But you will not see singular Christian bragging about science, because the Bible is not a book of science. We don't care for your science. But now I will go back to Mimi Hijab to see, okay, as long as this verse translation, it turned to be a lie. So what does verse mean? And what the Quran is saying? Shall we listen to him? Let us give him a chance to prove what he is trying to say. Maybe he have a better idea than Zakir Naik. Zakir Naik got busted by Mimi Hijab. Okay, now Mimi Hijab, is the earth is a flat or round? Let us see, or, or, a, or a globe. Due respect to all of those who are making this or saying this, it's a false translation, which is why, to my knowledge, I don't think anybody has ever translated that into the English language. <laughs> you know, and here you need to ask yourself, uh, how come not a single Muslim, even in the which is the, the modern translation, he did that? What? Because simply this is how far, not, nothing to do with the word what they are trying to say. It's absolute fabrication. He just witnessed that not a single one he knew, he translated as they say. Like if you ask Zakanaik, okay, if we open now the Quran in your hand, you see all those people in front of him in the, in the, in the, in the, in the he is standing in the stage. Not a single one ask him, here's a Quran in yoga. Can you open the Quran you have in your hand and you read for us what it says? In your hand, you will see that the Quran in his, his hand, it doesn't say what he is saying. But now Mimi Hijab is trying to fix it. Okay, Zakir Naik is a liar. Those who say the shape of an egg, it's not exist. This is a fabrication. So Mimi Hijab, what is the solution now? In this way. And not only this, but we would see that all of the exegetes of all time in the medieval period, Practically all of them, or none of them, had said uh, anything like this. So this is probably one of the worst examples, with all due respect once again, <laughs> of uh, distortion and superimposition and contriving meanings into... Uh, supposedly he don't do distortion. I mean, the, you go watch the previous two videos I made for him and you will see how much he lied. And today, we will get him busted with the same thing. He's trying now to make himself look like he is a decent man exposing other Muslims who lie about what the Quran is saying. The verse doesn't say that, brother. Not a single translation says that, brother. I am hijab. I'm going to show you the true meaning, brother. Go. To the verse, which are not actually there in any way, shape or form. So what does this verse actually mean? It means that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has smoothed over the earth. What? It means Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he smooth, Allah was making smoothie? What, what, hold on, hold on, what do you mean Allah, he was he smooth over the earth? That is something new. You see, the Muhammadan are so creative. Suddenly, Allah, he smooth over the earth. Let me play it again, hold on. <laughs>
translation, which is why, to my knowledge, I don't think anybody has ever translated that into the English language mm. in this way. And not only this, but we would see that all of the exegetes of all time in the medieval period, practically all of them or none of them had said uh, anything like this. So this is probably one of the worst examples, with all due respect once again, of uh, distortion and superimposition and contriving meanings into the verse which are not actually there in any way, shape or form. So what does this verse actually mean? It means that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has smoothed over the earth. <laughs> in other words, he hasn't made it craterous in, in such a way as the moon is, for example. We can move around the earth. Ah, okay, Mimi Hijab, in front of everybody, where we can find this interpretation? I mean, did you notice that this guy, he gave us interpretation, but he don't tell us he get it from where? We have the Islamic Interpretation website. We can now open it and we can check if you are telling the truth or not. So if we go now in the Quran and are we going to see Mr. Smoothie? Allah doing a smoothie. He smoothed the earth. We can walk in it. Or the Quran interpretation saying Allah, he made the earth flat. In fact, what about we open the dictionary first? Shall we? Can we open the Islamic dictionary? Let us do it. Let me open the Islamic dictionary and see what this word means. You see, they lie, they love to lie. Supposedly now he is not like the rest of the Muslims who say the earth is an egg. They are lying, it's not true. I'm going to tell you what it means. This is the word Daha and this is the Islamic dictionary. Al Ma'ani. It you know this website you can have it in English and Arabic or Arabic alone. This is the word Daha. What the meaning people? He make it leveled. Open out, live in, level it, flatten, spread out. Fair? Not only that. We can go and find even the verse itself in the same dictionary. What the verse says about, what the, what the dictionary says about the exact verse we are talking about which means the dictionary, the Islamic dictionary, explaining the verse. Here we go. This is the ha, ha exactly as it is in the Quran. In fact, it says here to you, in the screen, he spread it, between two bracket, Quran. He stretched it, Quran. A flint. This is Quran. What about now we go to the Islamic interpretation for the verse? Let us check out. This is the Islamic website. I will go first with the one which is in English because you guys you speak English and then we will show you in Arabic whatever you like me to show you. If you are a Muslim, feel free to join us. Nowhere in any interpretation says Allah, he made it smooth. It says he made the earth flat. And this is a website owned by the king of Jordan. And this is a Jalalain, which Mimi Hijab, in, in the same video, he mentioned his name many times, the author of this, the, of, of this book. The author of his book. In fact, Mimi Hijab, he mentioned the name of the author of this book more than anyone in this video. He keep repeating his name. After that, he spread out the earth. He made it flat. And Allah, he created the earth before the heaven. But before, when he created in the beginning, he did not make it flat. He made it flat after. So Muhammad Hijab, in order to hide what the Quran is saying, that he made the earth flat, he said, Allah, he made the earth smooth. Okay, which interpretation is saying smooth?
Why Mimi Hijab don't say to us, if we open the book of potato, page number tomato, chapter of sectato, we can find exato. Instead, talk is cheap. Mimi Hijab, as usual, he claimed that he is the person of knowledge. In fact, later we will talk about something very funny regarding this topic. The earth is not only flat, the earth is in the top of a whale. In fact, he himself in his video, he have a section about that. And we can play it for you. Let me open uh, another page for the video so we don't miss what where he stopped. Actually, you know what? Let us finish what he said. But as you see, if we open, what if we open Ibn Kathir? What if we open Al Qurtubi Al Tabari Al Jalalain? Are we going to find that Allah He made it flat? Yes. Allah He made it flat. You will find here it says Allah spread the earth over the water because the earth is in the top of a whale. If we go right now to Arabic, but let me open the Arabic section in, uh, in Google browser because simply we need to use Google translation. Give me a second. All right. This is al tabari and this is the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. What the word the haha mean? Let us see together. According to Islam, according to the Prophet of Allah, Allah, he created the earth before the heaven, which is very funny because where you are going to place the earth if there is no space for it? The heaven simply is the space. If there is no heaven, there is no space. And here we will see uh, the interpretation. Let us see what the interpretation is saying. Uh, here we go. البسطو في في كلام العرب. Make it like a carpet. In the language of the Arab. And extending it flat. You know. والمد يقال له دحى يدحو دحوة. This is their interpretation. If we go down here, from Qutada, he said, أي بسطها, he made it carpet. From Hamza, from As-Suddi, from, 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 تحاها قال, بسطها, he made it carpet. From Sufyan, تحاها, he made it carpet. So as you see, it says carpet, not make it smooth, there's a huge difference. And here, actually, they give you all the reference for the word meaning from At-Tabari, from the dictionary, you know, Basattahu, uh, you know, etc. So they are giving you where to find it, where is the meaning. And let me use Google Translation. I don't know what Google will use now to translate this word, uh, uh, Basattaha. We will see. So we will go here. Uh, starting... We start from where? Let us go from number here. We go from where it says at the end of the page almost. All right, translate to English. All right. Zaid, he said, from Wahhab, from, 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 Raham, they translated the, the Google translate the word as a spread out. 
This is not an accurate translation, it's false. Basataha is a word mean carpet. In fact, we can prove it from the Quran because there's other verse in the Quran saying it clearly that Allah He made the earth a carpet besought. Besought. If we go to chapter 71, verse number 19, Allah He made the earth a carpet, a besought. And what the carpet is? Flat. Chapter 71, verse number 19. Let me zoom in for you. So we have many verses in the Quran confirm that Islam and the Quran teach clearly that the earth was flat. Allah, He made it flat for us. Very simple. You know, Allah is doing you a favor, so he decided to make the earth flat. What do you want more? And Allah actually, supposedly, in this verse, is telling you how much favor he did for you by making the earth flat. He's telling you, supposedly, uh, how he make it. And now, let us go to Ibn Kathir, shall we? This is Ibn Kathir. <laughs> and this is the official government website of the kingdom of Saudi Arabia the same exact verse chapter 79 verse number 30 be my witness this is Ibn Kathir alright I will give you the link actually here we go and I'm using Google translation at the end of the page it says what Allah, he, he flattened the earth. Do you see the word flattened? And the flatten it. He flattened it. Look how many times the word flat repeated in the Bikathir. Do you see it? Do you see it? Now, let us go to Ibn Kathir in the English translation made by Muslims. Let us see if the flat earth is located there or the Muslim, they change it. Shall we? Because there is supposed to be a website have Ibn Kathir in English. Let us check it out. Uh, where is uh, Ibn Kathir in English? Give me a second. Ah, here we go. So we go to chapter All right. And Naziat. I will wait for your screen. Give me a second. And then we go to the end, verse number 30. Okay, now we are in Ibn Kathir translation, the website. I just open it. And we are ready to read. Uh, uh, this is from 34. We want 30. Hold on. Look, look, look what they did. Guys, look what they did. Look, 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 look. Where is 30? There is interpretation in English from 34 to 46, which means from chapter, from verse 40, 34 to 46. There's from 1 to 14, 15 to 26, 34 to 45. There's no 30. <laughs> Do you mean there's no how we what happened? Who ate it? They took it off. All of it is gone. You know, did I did I choose the wrong verse? Hold on. No.
in Arabic, Yeah, actually, no, no, hold on. We need to open. Let us open Nawa, the chapter of Nawa, it's 71. Uh, but an Naziat, the one in the front of us, the one it says carpet, I don't see it. Where, the, where is the... They, they took it off. Let us go. Let us get them busted in a different way. In chapter 71, verse number 19. Let's see if they will take it, if they will eat it too. Is it there? Five to twenty. Okay, that's good. Five to twenty. And now, uh, okay. Oh, they took the word flat off. There's no flat. Look. Allah, He created seven heaven, and He made the moon and the night therein, and He made the sun and the lamp, and uh, 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 forth from uh, the earth afterward, uh, He will return. There is no flat. It's gone. Where is the flat? Why, why in Arabic, it says Allah, He flattened the earth. But in English, Allah did not flat the earth. Any Muslim can tell me what's happening? It can't be true. This is why if you learn Islam from a translator and he is a Muslim, I guarantee you that he will lie to you. They lie. They love to lie. Uh, let me see if it's located in different place. Uh, uh, you know, sometime maybe maybe the website is messed up. Let us see. You know, maybe. Okay, here. Ah, look, 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 look. Here, look what they say. Look, look, look. He level it. He spread it out. They did not use the word carpet. You see what they did? Meaning, he spread it out. He level it. But this is absolutely false because the word besought, literally mean a carpet still we have more options the Quran is full of poo, poo the Quran says that Allah he made the earth for you as flat as bed If you go, as an example, not necessarily, chapter 20, verse number 53. Look, 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 look. Here it says it clearly, he make it like a carpet. Spread out. Do you, do you see? So now, what is the image of the earth in your eyes? All those verses are saying the same thing. The earth is a flat. The earth is a carpet. Mimi Hijab, he said, Allah, he make it smooth for us. Since when? You never heard of something called mountains, valleys, canyons, crazy geography? Is really the earth is really smooth? What do you mean smooth? Allah, he made the earth smooth for us. We go back to Mimi Hijab and see how he can fix it. And if you speak to Mimi Hijab, ask him why you don't give us where you got your reference from. 
as you see, all your Islamic scholars, they translate the word as a flat. Isn't it the same guy you keep mentioning his name? The you know the, the author of Ajlalain is the one who you said he is the one who wrote up a book about what the word kul mean. That's mean he is a scholar in Arabic. Why the scholar in Arabic? Which you keep mentioning his name in the same video more than maybe 30, 40 times. He is saying he made it flat. We go back to Mimi Hijab so we can continue the party. It's fun exposing those liars. And there are uh, flat surfaces all over the earth. Uh -huh. Now, why do these individuals, or what potential tenuous link could individuals make between an ostrich egg and this verse? Good question. Why those people, the Muslims, you know, when he say individuals, what individual? I mean, all of you go, every single Muslim YouTube says the earth is in the shape of an egg. Suddenly it's individual? Because we expose them heavily and we show everybody with the proofs and reference, and you can do by the way, even if you don't speak Arabic. The website for the dictionary, which I'm giving you, I mean, it's for free. You can just, even if you don't speak Arabic, you can't copy the word in Arabic, which I'm going to show you on the screen. And paste it. And the dictionary will show you what the meaning. Very simple. Let me shorten the, the website so I can post it for you. All right, here we go. You can open this dictionary and you can use it with any. And again, this is a very Islamic dictionary. In fact, it have all the Arabic dictionary written by Muslims. All of them. So now, okay, Mimi Hijab, what is the reason for those people to do so? As you said, Mimi Hijab is trying to, to make a physical, uh, physical study studies, uh, uh, you know, exercises, uh, you know, like he used big words, you know, like in... Uh, uh, you know, like he's supposed to, he is the guy who knows. What is the reason the Muslim, they say a lie? What do you think? Is the moon is, for example. We can move around the earth and there are uh, flat surfaces all over the earth. Now, why do these individuals, or what potential tenuous link could individuals make between an ostrich egg and this verse? Well, an ostrich egg is referred, uh, not even the ostrich egg, by the way, sorry. Uh, the place where in which, and this is the uh, degree of uh, tenuousness mm. uh, in, in, this, in this attempt here, the place where in which the ostrich lays this egg. Is Do you see what happened now? It's not even the egg. This is where the... the <laughs> it's not even the egg. It's the nest of the egg. <laughs> and so the Muhammadan, they try to make a word in the Quran fit with other words that have nothing to do with it. And even, it is not even an egg. It is where the ostrich lay her eggs. <laughs> but hold on. So you are saying to me that the Quran Yuka, he was lying? No way. Who is going to believe you? Zuzu. Peace be upon him, was lying about the shape of the earth like an egg? No, I'm shocked. The earth as an expanse, and we have made the earth egg shape. Egg shape, <laughs> egg shape. By the way, he don't speak Arabic. He don't speak a single Arabic word. So what now he's talking Arabic? <laughs> okay, tell us more. Well, earth the bad as alika the haha means, and then we made the earth egg shape. 
Mimi hijab, he got them busted. It's not even the egg. That word they are talking about, which is not in the Quran, but they are talking about is not even in the Quran. This is a different word. It's not even the egg, that word. It is the nest where the ostrich lay her eggs. It's not exist in the Quran. It is not an egg, which means even the lie, it is a stupid lie. Uh, Mimi, uh, be honest with me. Did the Christian prince pay you to make this video? I mean, I don't know. It sounds fishy. It sounds like you are saying what Christian is saying for a long time. And Muslim keep saying to him, you are a liar. How come suddenly you get awake? Where have you been? The place where in which, and this is the uh, degree of uh, tenuousness mm -hmm. uh, in, in, this, in this attempt here, the place where in which the ostrich lays its egg is called a mudha. <laughs> this is, is called that. Uh, not, not the ostrich egg, the bayda itself of the na'ana, not the ostrich egg itself, <laughs> but the place in which the ostrich puts its egg is uh. called the mudha. Now, this is a noun. Mm. But this verb in the sorry, this verse in the in the in the ayah is not mentioning a noun. So how can you translate it as a noun? Because the verse is a verb. It's a verb. Daha. Yeah. He done daha to it. <laughs> yeah, is it's because ard is muannatha. It's it's, fee, it's 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 feminine in the Arabic language. Well, ard ba'da thalika dahaha. So Allah has smoothed it over and he's kind of removed the craters, ah, or yeah. it, not removed the craters, hasn't made it craterous in such the same way as maybe the moon is, or has put so many mountains that would ah. find difficulty to move around. Yeah, actually, the mountain story in the Quran is a different story, by the way, because according to the Quran, Allah, he made the earth flat, and then Allah, because now it's a carpet, as we showed you, we showed you the verse in the Quran saying it's a carpet, in the chapter of Noah, uh, verse number 19, uh, and then Allah, he placed mountains in the top of the carpet so the carpet will not fly, will not move. That's what the Quran is saying. Mountains is not from the earth. Allah, he placed mountain. But let us continue with him and see what he will say more. In the environment. This is what is practically all the Mufassirun have said <laughs> from uh, Al-Tabari to Ibn Kathir. Hold on, hold on, hold on. How come... At-Tabari, Ibn Kathir, all the names you are mentioning, but now you don't want to use them to prove your point, which you will say next. Listen carefully. When he said, this is what all the, the biggest scholars, they say. You cannot find what they are saying in At-Tabari, Ibn Kathir. He is mentioning to you the big names, correct? Why you don't use them yourself to read for us? Isn't it weird? What about you open a tabari and you show us what a tabari say? As long as you agree with a tabari. In fact, we showed you what a tabari said already. A tabari, he said, he made it flat. Basataha. This is a tabari, the one who he just mentioned his name. And when you mention his name as a beginning, as a as a start, that means he is the best for you. Here we go. This is the official government website of Saudi Arabia, at tabari chapter 79, verse number 30. And he is explaining what the haha mean. Simply, he made it flat. Let us read together. Hmm. <laughs> This is our tabari. <laughs> he made it flat. Carpet. Basataha. Qala basataha. Qala basataha. Qala basataha. Okay, hold on. What basataha mean? Let us take the word as it is and take it to the dictionary. The word basataha is coming from the word besought. Besought. Basataha is coming as a verb. He made it flat. He made it a carpet. But besought is a carpet. I will copy the word as it is, and I will go to the dictionary in the front of your eyes. And I will paste the word as it is in the screen.
Here it's going giving you like a, 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 all kind of meaning you can imagine, but here what the word besot mean? Basata, 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 basata. Okay, he uh, state his spread, his play, his show. Yeah, this is all. This is true. All this meaning is possible. Uh, but we want to go and see the word besot. You know, let us see the word besot. I will type the word besot in the top. What besot mean? Type in English. And I change, by the way, Mimi Hijab to say this is not true. Besot does not mean this is where the word besot I'm coming from. He floor it, he make it a carpet. Besot, besot. Actually, uh, uh, you know, you know the story of Cindy uh, uh, Bad? Sindibad. The story in Arabic is Bisatu Rih, the carpet of the wind. Bisat. All right. Bisat. All of this from coming from Bisat, as you see. Now, for this additional meaning can be used, but here Allah He made the earth a flat carpet. So why you did not open for us? Okay, he said Ibn Kathir. What about we open Ibn Kathir and see what Ibn Kathir said about the same verse? Here we go. I will go to Ibn Kathir. Actually, we showed Ibn Kathir already in English. Actually, here, Ibn Kathir, he did not say too much. Uh, he said that the earth was made it uh, after etc. Here he did not say really much in this. Uh, yeah, in this verse, in Kathir, he don't have much to say. He don't say anything. Uh, he said that Allah He made the earth uh, duhiyat. He did not say what duhiyat mean. However, we can find in different place what we showed you that duhiyat mean He made it flat. Uh, Mimi Hijab he says Allah He made it smooth. Allah he made it smooth but in fact he is saying the same almost because smooth mean what it's mean we can walk with no difficulty carpet he smooth it but is this is true this is absolutely false let us continue with this guy and see what he's else I'm happy that he exposed all those lies about the egg story it turned to be absolutely false it's not even exist anywhere it's not even close it's not even an egg showing you the ignorance of those a kid he is 19 years old was responding to Christian Prince he is the one who used it first time and then every single edit in the internet he starts saying the same as this kid they copy paste from each nobody want to go and check and many of them they knew they are lying in fact especially those who speak Arabic. But as long as we are lying to support Islam, that is a good lie according to them. The place where in which, and this is the uh, degree of uh, tenuousness uh, in, in, this, in this attempt here, the place where in which the ostrich lays its egg is called a mudha. This is, is called that, uh, not, not the ostrich egg, the bayda itself of the na'ama, not the ostrich egg itself, but the place in which the ostrich puts its egg is called the mudha. Now this is a noun, but this verb in the, sorry, this verse in the, in, the, in the ayah is not mentioning a noun. So how can you translate it as a noun? Because the verse is a verb, dahaha, he done daha to it, ha is aida ila al ard. Yeah, is because ard is mu'annatha, <laughs> is, 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 is feminine in the Arabic language. Well, arda ba'da thalika dahaha. So Allah has smoothed it over and he's kind of removed the craters or has made it, not removed the craters, hasn't made it craterous in such the same way as maybe the moon is or has put so many mountains that we would be, find mm -hmm. difficulty to move around in the environment. This is what is 
practically all the Mufassirun have said, <laughs> from uh, Al-Tabari to Ibn Kathir to Ar-Razi to... I haven't seen anybody, quite frankly, who has understood this meaning to mean that it's a place where the, where the, air, sorry, the, 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 the earth is made into an egg. Now, this doesn't mean that the earth is pro projected in the Qur'an as uh, being flat. As we've said before, there's, there is precedent using verses from the Qur'an using verses from the Qur'an that indicate the rotundity or the rotundity, sorry, or the roundness of the earth. And we have actually an entire video which you can see in the description box which elaborates upon them. But briefly I'll just mention that this is chapter number 39 verse number 5. You chapter 39 verse number 5. Shall we go there? Chapter 39 verse number 5. Let us go. Stop. In chapter 39, verse number 5, it says the earth is flat. Sorry, is the earth is, is, is round. That is interesting. This is chapter 5. Chapter 39, sorry, verse number 5. He is quoting what Zakharani Yuko was saying. Allah, he created the heavens and the earth by the truth. He made the, the, the night lap over the day, and he made the day lap over the night. And وَسَخَّرَ الشَّمْسَ وَالْقَمَرَ كُلٌّ يَجْرِي لِأَجْلٍ مُسَمَّى He is saying this verse, proving that the earth is not flat. Okay, he mentioned to us a scholars. He mentioned Ibn Kathir. He mentioned al tabari he mentioned al qurtubi he mentioned al razi i will let him say more about how this verse mean the earth is flat so we can go and check the interpretation either really the mission the scars he mentioned them they are saying that or he is a fraud like the rest of them go mimi hijab you mentioned scholars which scholar says that this earth, this verse, is about the earth not being flat? He rolls the night into the day, and he rolls the day into the night. So, taqweer here comes from the Arabic word qura, which means ball. Mm. Uh, and this is what Ibn Hazm, uh, in his book Al-Fisal, he mentions. He mentions that this, uh, and by the way, he was like 4th century or 5th century, so he is a medieval scholar. Uh, that came before, you know, the scientific revolutions. Uh -huh. he, he used this verse. Okay. He used this verse in Surah Al-Zumar, chapter number 39, verse number 5, to indicate that the earth is round. And okay. I'm going to go to Ibn Hazm. Shall we? <laughs> the funny is, he mentioned Ibn Kathir al-Qurtubi al-Tabari al Suddenly he jumped to a person, nobody heard of him. You notice, he did not mention Ibn Kathir. He did not mention Al Qurtubi no more. He did not mention Al Razi no more. He mentioned someone else. Who? Ibn Hazm. Okay. Let us go to Ibn Hazm and see how Ibn Hazm. Uh, he says that. All right. Uh, let's see. I'm just trying to find the interpretation of Ibn Hazm. Give me a minute, please. Just to show you how they lie. مدلس يا ميمي حجاب نصاب يا رجل what Ibn Hazm he said they say according to them let me show you what Ibn Hazm he said 
What a scam you are. It's not him saying that. He is saying, they say, he's talking about who? People like us, the Christian, the Jews. Let me open the book. And then we have to use Google Translation. And then everybody will laugh at you. You see how they lie? And now, actually, we are going to go and we check every single interpretation for the Muslims. Because uh, if only one, he, according to him, he mentioned one name, he ignored the rest. You need to ask yourself why the rest did not believe in the same thing, if this is true. Right? Why didn't believe in the same thing? But we will go. I'm just trying to find the... Uh, the, the, the book itself. I see only articles. I didn't see really the book until now. Let us see... I found the website, but uh, it have a weird address. Maybe it's not a good website. Let us see. It's still loading. Yeah, sound fishy. Okay, forget about it. Let us try something else. Ibn Hazm, he did not say you're a liar, that the earth is round. He said, they say... What a fraud. Uh, I see only articles. I don't see a, a book. Uh, but we will try. And I'm sure he don't know even where he can find that. Let us see here. This is, I found this website. I could not find the exact book to show, to, to show you which page, which etc. It says, uh, their objection to what the Muslim believe, they claim, they said, objection. They said that all proofs become true that the earth is round. But the majority of people say the opposite. And then he says, well, you know, uh, uh, the one who have knowledge, they did not deny that the earth is round. This is his opinion, but he is not the one saying that the earth is round. He is quoting what people say. <laughs> uh. 
they are talking about what people say. Now, let us go and see the scholars which you mentioned their names. And if the scholars, they are the one who agree that the earth is round, then we will say, okay, you know what? Those the Muslims, all of them, they agree the earth is round. Here they are saying uh, 278. Supposedly this is a reference. I don't know what this reference here. Let us see if there is any reference here. They are not really saying anything about it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Here it's saying that the earth is not round. But anyway, let us go and find something uh, more useful. And here you need to ask yourself, why Mimi Hijab did not mention the scholars or was he mentioned their names? Because he is desperate trying to find maybe somebody. He used the word bowl. Let us try to find somebody. But this body he mentioned, he is claiming that they say. It's not him who is saying that. However, let us say for the sake of argument, this guy is saying such a thing. If you remember, if you remember, Hari Dawa, he said that Allah, he come down to his, uh, uh, to inside his creation. Hari Dawa was talking about what? Hari Dawa was talking about Allah, he come down every day in the third part of the night. If the earth, according to Islam, is not a flat how Allah he come every day in the third part of the night are you with me let us find the hadith And Mimi Hijab himself, actually, he agreed with this hadith. And we can play the video for you. Let us see. This is the hadith. And this is Al-Bukhari. This is Sahih. Allah Apostle, he said, Our Lord, the blessed, the superior, comes every night down on the nearest heaven to us when the last third of the night remains, saying, if there is anyone to invoke me, so that may I respond to his invocation. Now, ask yourself, there is a video of Mimi Hijabi agree with this video, with this uh, hadith, and Ali Dawa the same. And they agree Allah enter his creation, because the earth, the heaven is his creation. Which contradict what they say in previous video, that God cannot enter his creation. But this is normal for Muslim to be to do. But if the earth is a, a flat, only that story can be accurate because all of us we will receive the same time the same light the sun will appear for all of us in the same moment will disappear in the same moment correct so how you agree with this hadith and then you are trying to make that verse fit with your agenda saying oh you know what the, this is about the earth is a flat. Sorry, the earth is, is round. Uh, if we go to different verse in the Quran, saying the same thing. Allah, he said, وَإِذَا الْأَرْضُ مُدَّتْ مُدَّتْ What مُدَّتْ mean? Let us go and see. 
Oh, this is the Bible. Chapter 84, verse number 3. How the earth is not a flat, and he says, Allah, he make it maddat. Maddat, it's a, it's a carpet. He flatten it. How you can stretch the earth if the earth is not a flat? Can you? Now we will go back to his video. Actually, before we go, hold on. Let us show another interpretation for the same verses he quote for us. Chapter 5. Uh, the verse is speaking about uh, verse, verse number 5. I will open the scars he himself he named for me. And we will try to find if they really are saying what Mimi Hijab is saying. Either Mimi Hijab is telling the truth, or the scholars, they agree that this is about the earth is round. If the scholars agree that this is about the earth is round, then the Muslims are telling the truth, and there is no contradiction in the Quran. But already we show you many verses in the Quran saying the earth is, is not round, the earth is flat. So chapter 39, verse number 5. Let us open Al-Jalalain first. The one, uh, uh, Mimi Hijab, he keep mentioning his name. If this is what the Quran is saying, then all the scholars should say the same. Especially he said, early scholar from the 4th century. From the 4th century. So Al-Jalalain should say the same. Okay. Chapter 39, verse number 5. This is a Jalalain. Where it says Allah, he made the earth round. Anyone see it? This is a Jalalain. Anyone see such a thing? In fact, there is a video for the, the girlfriend of this guy. It's not even worth to mention her name. He said about a hadith, yes, yes, the proof, the prophet prove you wrong. The sun goes every day and sat under the throne of Allah, which is where the sun in murky water. If the Muslim believe that the earth is round and they understand the science of the astronomy, then they should not believe in what Muhammad said, that the sun is the one goes every day and she take a dip in the hot muddy water. Unless you are saying to me, you Muslims, you know what happening more than your prophet. Isn't it this is your prophet and this is Sahih chain hadith authentic saying Abu Hur Abu Dhar he said I was sitting behind the messenger of Allah who was riding a donkey while the sun was setting he asked do you know where this set I replied Allah and his apostle knows best he said it's set in a spring of warm water so we will go with Mimi Hijab who is trying to prove that the earth is round so Mimi Hijab how the earth is round, yet your prophet, he think that the sun is going every day. And as you see, this is authentic hadith. Not only this one, not only he think it, the sun is going, he think the sun is taking a shower in, dead, in, in, a, in, a, in a hot water every day. Let us go to a hadith approved by the girlfriend of Mimi Hijab. The same person, he asked, Muhammad, O Prophet of Allah, where the sun goes during the sunset. Some hadith says actually, Muhammad said, Do you know where the sun goes? That guy he said, Allah and his apostle knows best. Read carefully. This is not me saying those things. And this is Al-Bukhari, authentic. This is not Mimi Hijab. 
This is not a Christian prince saying that. So it looked like Mimi Hijab, he understand the situation of what the Quran is saying more than his prophet. What is the name or the title? The sun runs on its fixed course. Chapter 36, verse number 38. So here Muhammad explained the verse in the Quran. Not only is giving us his opinion, no, he is explaining the verse. Chapter 36, verse number 38. Look at what happened. Once I was sitting with the Prophet in the mosque, in the time of the sunset, the Prophet said, Oh Abu Dhar, do you know where the sun set? I replied, Allah and his apostle knows best. And here you see the Muslims are pagan, mushrikeen. They associate the knowledge of God with the knowledge of a man. Allah, there's two people knows best, Muhammad and Allah, equally. He said, it goes and put straight underneath Allah's throne. And that what Allah statement and the sun runs into a fixed course. Chapter 36, verse number 38. In fact, we should go there. <laughs> Do we have any Muslim is excited? Any Muslim is excited here. So how how you say to me a scholar he say the earth is round which is not even what he is saying, you are a liar. But if we assume he said that, how come all the other scholars say the opposite? And how come Muhammad himself saying the opposite? Because as you see, the sun set, it's the sun running, not the earth going around itself. Is it possible that Muhammad, he knew the earth is round, but yet he think that the sun is going? <laughs> is it possible that Muhammad is a scholar in one side and he is a dummy in the other side? Is it possible he is smart in one hand and is stupid in the other hand? If we open every single interpretation for the verse, Mimi Hijab, he chosen for us, we will not find any one of them saying the earth is round. Then you need to ask yourself, how come? Where? Here we go. This is Ibn Abbas. Where it says that this is about the earth is round. Nowhere. What about we go to Arabic? And we choose any Islamic interpretation of their choice. He mentioned at Tabari. Maybe at Tabari he mentioned that. Let us check it out. Maybe the Tabari he mentioned something nobody mentioned. At Tabari is in the front of me. Did at Tabari say anything about the earth being around? No. And remember this verse. Let me give you the link, by the way. So you see, you can use Google Translation. So you will not say, oh, Christian Prince, maybe it's there. He hide it from you. Here we go. This is the this is the page of a Tabari. Nowhere it says that the sun that the earth is is uh, is round. In fact, the hadith we just showed you is explaining this verse too, because it speaks it's telling us how the day and the night and the moon and the sun they are moving. Do you see it? Who is the one is moving? Muhammad did not say the earth is moving. Remember, let us go back to Mimi Hijab translation. You can watch the video. Mimi Hijab, let us go back to the page. <laughs> and this is the Muslim translation. Which and who is moving in this cycle? Is it the earth? No. He created the heaven and the earth in truth. Good. He made the earth, the night, to go in the day, and he made the day go in the night. And he subjugated the sun and the moon, each running into a fixed course. There's no earth. 
Did you notice? The earth is stationary. The moon and the sun and the day and the night, they are moving. And actually, there's other verse. We will go to it so we can show you more details. But let us put this next to this. When Muhammad, he mentioned that the sun goes every day when his companion sitting with him and Muhammad said to him, do you know where the sun goes? That explained this verse. The sun, the moon, the night, the day, they run into an orbit. And now let us go actually to chapter 36, verse number 38. Shall we? You see it in front of us. Why wouldn't go and check out what this means? I will go to Ibn Kathir. 36, 38. And now Mimi Hijab, he will say Ibn Kathir is a donkey. I just showed you your prophet. I did not show you Ibn Kathir. Ibn Kathir, he is just explaining what your prophet is saying. And your prophet actually he explained very well. Very smart. The sun goes every day. Do you know where the sun goes? In the time of the sunset. In which time? In the time of the sunset. So, the hadith making it so clear that this is about the sunset, the sunset time, not about something else. Where is the hadith? Hold on. Uh, yeah. Do you see it in front of you? In the time of the sunset. So the equation, the reason for the, the statement, what he said. Do you know where the sun goes? Where the sunset? Do we need explanation for this? No, it's very simple. Do you know where the sun set? Where? Do you see the word where? People, do you see the word where? What where present in language? Where present a location. Do we agree? Do we agree? Where is not time. Where is a location? The time is, is the sunset. It's already registered in front of you in the time this is not my words in the time of the sunset so the time is there which is a sunset and where the sunset so Mimi Hijab he can squeeze his testicles as much he can if you have any but he's a prophet get him busted already and now if we go and we check what the interpretation is saying about those verses, you will see that all the Muslims obviously agree that the sun is the one is moving, the moon is moving, and Islam is a joke. And the day is moving, by the way. And the night is moving. The day and the night is an object in Islam. Chapter 36, verse number 38. Let us go there. And now what Mimi Hijab will say, Oh, uh, the scholars, they, uh, they are stupid. They don't know what they are talking about. You know, suddenly, we do not know. We don't agree with the scholars. There is two views, as usual, about the meaning of this phrase. It refers for a fixed course of a location which beneath the throne of Allah, beyond the earth in that direction, Whenever, wherever it goes, it is beneath the throne. Guys, listen carefully. This is the scholars in Mimi Hijab. He mentioned his name. He mentioned Ibn Kathir in this video. Now, about this same verse. The sun goes, there's two opinions. We will read them both. The first opinion is, the sun referred to goes to a location where it is beneath the throne beyond the earth in that direction beyond what beyond the earth <laughs> take a note this is not my muslim my, my translation this is their website where it goes it's beneath the throne and in all creation or uh, and and uh, uh it it and all the creation because the throne is the roof of the creation and it is not as fair as many astronomers they claim. People, do you see it?
Let me zoom. Did he just say that those astronomers are a bunch of donkeys? <laughs> are you with me? Do you understand now why Mimi Hijab, he did not mention the name of Ibn Kathir? Why he will not mention Al-Qurtubi? He mentioned someone saying that they say the earth is wrong. They say. And remember when he say in the fourth century, that is a thousand year after Jesus. You know what I'm saying? He is not quoting somebody from the first century of Islam. Why you don't quote us what, what your prophet is saying? How come Mimi Hijab did not mention what his prophet said to explain the verse? If I have explanation from Muhammad himself, I'm not going to take any scholar. Muhammad said that, that's it. And this is Ibn Kathir, as you see in the front of you. And not only that, rather it is a doom supported by legs or pillars. Huh? What, what? Can somebody get Mimi Hijab from his legs? Quran explained by the Muslim scholars, not a YouTube boy. Rather it is a doom supported by legs or Pillars. In fact, the Quran says, without pillars that you can see. What does that mean? There is pillars, but we cannot see. Why? Because those pillars are in Azur Mountain have the same color of the sky. In fact, the sky takes its color from it. So, rather it's a doom supported by legs or pillars. Carried by the angels, okay, and above it is the universe. Ah. Above the head of the people, when the sun at zenith uh, at noon, it is the closest position to the throne. Ah. And when it's run in its fourth orbit, its position point uh, to its zenith, at the mid of the night <laughs> is the throne of Allah is moving too <laughs> and then he says Al-Bukhari reported as you see his quote in the same as I showed you he said I was with the Prophet in the in the in the mosque in the time of the sunset and he said do you know where this sunset he says Allah and his Prophet knows best he says it goes and prostrate itself under Allah throne. And he quote, Muhammad quote, the verse, and the sun runs into a fixed course. And it's also reported by Abu Dhar. May Allah be pleased with him. I ask Mashallah of Allah saying about the ayah. Was Shamsu Tajriri Mustaqarin Laha? And the sun runs into a fixed course. He said its fixed course beneath the throne. Now, second view. Listen carefully, the second view. Is that referred to when the sun appointed to time to come to end, which will be on the day of resurrection, and when the fixed course will be abolished, will come to halt and will be ruled up, the world come to an end, and that will be the end of the appointed time. لِمُسْتَقَرِّنْ لَهَا and then he says here, now, which, op which opinion we, uh, Ibn Kathir will take? He will take the first one, because Muhammad, he said, well, this is how, what the verse mean, that the sun goes every day from point A to point B. All right? However, by the way, as long we are here, there is other reading for the verse, which is different Quran. It says, as Shamsu Tajri, لا مستقر لها. Read carefully here. 
the verse we showed you in the beginning it says Hashem to to its fixed course to its fixed course here it doesn't have a fixed course which means the Muslim they have two uh, one of them have to be wrong one Quran the most popular is the one they use which is saying it run to a fixed course this Quran here it says and the Sun run with no fixed course Do you see it? But the Muslim, they don't take this reading, they take the other reading. In the book where Mimi Hijab is reading for us, he read this one, not this one. I'm sure you never even heard of the one I'm showing in the screen. Uh, there is other verse actually in the Quran Let me see if I can find it for you here. Oh. It's not for the sun to overtake the moon. It's not for the sun to overtake the moon. Is that accurate? This is the verse in the Quran. The fact this is false, because all of us, we knew that the moon can take over the sun and vice versa. And there is no way the day will come, the night will come before the day. That's false. All of us, we knew the eclipse. And then he says, وَكُلِّنْ فِي فَلَكٍ يَسْبَحُونَ And all they float in each in orbit. All who? Read carefully with me. Means the night, the day, the sun, the moon. The earth is not with them. Read it carefully. Who is the one talking? This is the Quran. All of them, who? The night. You remember I told you the Quran teach that the night and the day, they are an object? You remember I mentioned that? This is the verse. They all float. You will see here the word float because the old legion believe that there is a ship. Every every planet take a ship. Everything is moving, take a ship. This is why it says a floating. Yes, Pahoon, they swim. They swim. Literally the word yes pahoon means swim. So the night, the day, the moon. All of them, all of them, read carefully. But is this is really what science says? That the day and the night, they are moving? And they are the same as the sun and the moon? And you will notice here, Muhammad, he did not mention the earth. He is saying all of them plotting, i.e. revolving in their orbit in the heaven. So the earth is a stationary, The earth is a stationary and the day and the night is moving. And this is what Muhammad said about it, explain what's happening. And not only that, actually, uh, let me show you a different hadith. The sun will keep going every day from the east to the west. Let us show you more reference. <clears throat> Here we go. This hadith actually is way good to shut everybody down. Do you know where the sun goes? And this is authentic. Let me show you the reference. This is Sahih Muslim, and we can show it from Sahih al Bukhari too. Here there's a full details. Do you know where the sun goes? He replied, his apostle Allah and his apostle knows best. He, the holy prophet, observed verily, he said, the sun glid till it reach 
its resting place. Rest in what place? Under the throne. Then it falls pretty straight and remain there until it asks to rise up and go to its place. Whence it come and go back and continue emerging out from rising place. You see it? So according to Muhammad, the sun every day go from the east to the west, sleep under the throne of Allah. In the morning, the sun asks Allah permission to rise again and rise from the east. Allah will give the sun permission, science, and then will go back where? To appear from the east. She, the sun will keep doing that until one day, read carefully, the sun keep doing that. Then it glitz till it reaches its place, rest under the throne, and fall prostrate and remain in that state until it's asked to raise up and return to the place where you come. And then it, re it return and emerge out from the rising place, the, from the rising place, remember carefully. And it and the glitz in such a normal way uh, that the people not the screen anything. I don't know, like this translation is very funny. And they reach resting place under the throne. And then it would be said, rise up and emerge out from the place of your sitting. So in the day of judgment, Allah will make the sun rise from the west, not from the east no more. So the sun will do that every day, every day. Go from the east, rise, uh, 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 set in the in the west, and then come back from the east until the day of judgment. The sun will not rise from the east. The sun will rise from the west, where it was sleeping under the throne of Allah, and then it would rise from the place of the, its setting, which mean the west. And those people they are trying to convince us that the Quran teach that the earth is round. Are we done? No. We have more garbage. Mimi Hijab, he will eat his fingers. Let's go back to him. And I hope that Mimi Hijab will dare even to say, do we agree with Ibn Kathir? I mean, you mentioned their name, Al-Tabari, Al-Qurtubi, Al-Jalalain. You mentioned the name. You mentioned the name of Al-Suyuti. Shall we go to Al-Suyuti? Continue. Let us see where your lies can go. This is not just him. We talked about Ibn Taymiyyah mentioning Tabais like Ibn Munada, who uh, say that the earth is round. And in fact, he says it's Ijma, it's a consensus. Ijma. This is a consensus. Ijma. All Muslim scholars, they agree the earth is round. This is absolutely a fraud. I just showed you what Ibn Kathir is saying. Ibn Kathir is saying, not like the astronomers saying. So the Muslims already, they knew that astronomers, the Greek, the ancient Greek, by the way, they believe that the earth is a sphere, in a sphere. In total agreement with the Bible. But we just showed you, and he just said, all the scholars agree, it's not only those. It is a consensus, like all the Muslims agree. I mean, this guy is talking to who, about who? The, the, the throne is the roof of the creation and not as fair as many astronomers claim. Rather, it is a doom supported by legs. We just heard Mimi Hijab lying with foul mouth saying 
that the Muslims, all of them, they agree that the earth is round. He mentioned to us two names, but yet he failed. If I ask Mimi Hijab, do you accept Ibn Taymiyyah for what he say? What Mimi Hijab will say? He will say no. And who, how, how long ago Ibn Taymiyyah was exist? Why you don't take the early scars you mentioned them? Suddenly, he jump over them. If we go right now to Ibn Taymiyyah, and as long Ibn Taymiyyah is the one you mention his name, then you should accept what Ibn Taymiyyah says. Whatever he say, you should accept. There is no way we can accept a person in one place and we don't accept a person in a different place. Is that fair? <laughs> I wish this guy there even to let me to, to, to call me. You know, be a man once. Uh, if me, uh, you know, he teach the Muslims if somebody put a spell on you, your penis will not function. You cannot have sex. This is what happened to Prophet Muhammad. Somebody placed a you know a spell on him. He cannot have sex with his wives. Uh, uh, you know, I mean, all kind of stupid stories. This is Ibn Taymiyyah. Let me give me a second. I'm just searching for some res reference. There's a Muslim website. I cannot enter it. They ban me. Can you believe it, those cowards? They ban me totally, you know, I cannot go there. They have a lot of books. Each time I try to open it, it didn't let me go. Even though I have like a different, uh, I, my IP change every every uh, every couple of hours, but somehow uh, maybe they ban like uh, the whole territory. Uh, give me a second. Oh, hold on, you know what? Uh, let me show you a video. Uh, uh, Mimi Hijab, he said that all the Muslims agree. I want to show you videos of Muslim scholars today, not 10 centuries ago, saying the earth is not round, it's flat, as the Quran says. <laughs> all the Muslims agree, huh? So what Ibn Kathir is saying here? Let us see. Aisha, according to the Quran, is Earth spherical in shape Let or is see. it flat? Let us see what he would say with this one. In the Quran, Allah <laughs> talks to the intellectual. Ah. To those who are illiterate okay to those who live in cities uh -huh. and to those who are bedouins and nomads okay it talks to what an individual sees uh -huh. so there are verses <laughs> tell the and describes the earth to be flat <laughs> as you can see 